OK. So given cosine of u equals negative 12 over 13. So guys, if you're given an angle or a point that's not on the unit circle, we always remember we have to make sure we create a triangle, triangle right? All right. Some things are sticking to us. So what? Uh, this was number 37. So it says the cosine of u equals negative 12 over 13. And our constraint is pi halves is less than u, which is less than pi. So we need to make sure where, uh, before we draw our triangle, we can draw a triangle in four different ways. right? We could draw it in the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, or fourth quadrant. So, But they say the angle is between pi halves and pi. So we need to go back and remember, where is pi halves and pi? Well, here's pi halves, and here's pi. right? As this is pi, this is 3 pi halves. And then all the way around would be 2 pi. So therefore, my triangle, my u, has to be in that quadrant. So it says negative 12 over 13. What's going to be negative in the second, in the second quadrant? Cos or the x or the y? What's negative in the second quadrant? x, right? So therefore, we have negative 12. And then you also know cosine, and remember, is adjacent over hypotenuse. Your hypotenuse is not going to be negative anyways. So that's our angle u. So that's what our triangle looks like, right? All right, so then it says um, uh, find the exact value of sine of u divided by 2. So to find u divided by 2, we need to remember what the formula is, which you guys will be provided. Um, and also, I know that we're going to need to be able to figure out, um, so sine of u divided by 2, we're also going to have to be able to figure out what this value is of the triangle. So we can figure out this value by using Pythagorean theorem, right? So by using Pythagorean theorem, hopefully you guys, um, so we'd have negative, I'll see it over here. Could you get the half angle formula for me? Negative 12 squared plus Let's call this uh, h. h squared equals 13 squared. So this is 144 plus h squared equals 13 squared, which is 169. This is also a Pythagorean triple, so you guys should know the answer is already 5, but we'll solve it out. Yep. So therefore, h squared equals 25. h equals 5. Because it's a Pythagorean triple. I thought that was like two people. That is another Pythagorean triple. Oh. There's, a, there's a couple of them. Well, do you notice 12 squared plus 5 squared equals 13 squared, right? Now, remember, it says plus or minus, right? But since we're in the second quadrant, do we see why we're going to use the positive value, right, yeah. for h? OK. Huh? I'll, I'll go over it. I'll talk about it in a second. So now we have sine of u divided by 2, which equals plus or minus uh, 1 minus cosine of u divided by 2. So actually, in this case, we actually really didn't even need to um, find that opposite side, because all they're, they're asking us in this problem is to just to find the sine of is that a? I think that's supposed to be a, a u, not a v. So it says find the u divided by 2. So sine of u divided by 2 is just 1 minus cosine of u. Well, cosine of u is negative 12 over 13. So I have plus or minus the square root of 1 minus a negative 12 over 13 divided by 2. So let's subtract our fraction here. So we'll do 1 minus. Yep, so it turns into 1 plus 12 over 13, right? So then you need to add 13 over 13. So therefore, you end up getting 25 over 13, right? So this equals plus or minus the square root of 25 over 13 divided by 2. Now to get this off our, get our 2 off our denominator, I'll we'll multiply by 1 half. So therefore, I now have plus or minus the square root of 25 
over 26. Now, I can simplify the square root of 25 to 5 over the square root of 26. And then I can rationalize the denominator. So my final answer is plus or minus 5 square root of 26 over 26. Sorry. Oh, well, it is some work, but that's what you need to do. Now, Lily, what was your question for tan? You wanted to do the